one reaction with Levy, and we are back with the daily one reaction. We were off on Monday due to July 4th weekend, and let's get it right going right away. We had game one of the NBA Finals last night. Suns, Bucks, Suns won 118, 105, and the story was Chris Paul. He made everything in that third quarter, and he dominated the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis returned. That was the main story coming in. Much better in the first than the second, uh, you could argue. But I think the main key for the Bucks is that two things. One, Lopez's liability uh, against Chris Paul and Devin Booker. They absolutely torched them uh, throughout this game. And then two, uh, they need more production. And if they want a chance against Mid for Middleton and Holiday, they've got to step up. That's a must uh, to me. So you had all that, and you lost by 13 the success came when they went small late. Uh, I don't know how viable P.J. Tucker is in this series. He didn't look great against Chris Paul. Paul would blow right by them, by him. I think you got to put Holiday on Paul and then put Forbes or some. Forbes got torched by Booker. So I would kind of put maybe Tucker on Booker, uh, someone just to get in front of him, uh, get physical with Booker. That's what Beverly did really well. you got to get physical with Devin Booker. They did a decent job against him tonight, but I consider switching the two. Put Holiday on Paul, and then Tucker on Booker. In terms of Lopez, I don't know how much he's going to hold. Uh, I think it was just Aiton, just being Aiton. He was unbelievable in this game. Unbelievable. Another double-double. He's a top center guy and a guy that just does so much for this team without getting the basketball. Uh, terrific game from him. You gotta love what you see from the Phoenix Suns. They're obviously the favorite. The key for the Bucks is: do they have a shot? The only way they have a shot is if Middleton, Holiday, and Giannis are three of the five best players in the series. And last night it was Aiton, Booker, and Paul, three of the four best players in this game. That can't happen if you want to win. That that just cannot happen. The Suns have better role players, so you gotta have three of the five for the Bucks to be better. So it has to be. Giannis scoring big time, 30 and 15, what he's been doing. Middleton, 25 plus, and Holiday at 20 plus. Uh, just ha that's the blueprint for winning uh, with Lopez's struggles, with PJ Tucker's struggles offensively. That's the only way you win this series. To me, I don't see it happening. I do like the Suns in uh, five games. I posted that on my website. I've said it from the beginning. I think the Suns are just the better team. They're better coached, more healthy. Uh, they have the better guards. They're at home. Uh, they have home court. Uh, Bucks will want to steal game two. Obviously, that's going to be a tough one. Game two is the game where you say, okay, are the Suns really going to win in five games, or can the Bucks make this a series? Can they play them close? Because game one, of course, we got to factor that in. Uh, so if you're you're a Buck fan, you got to say, okay, it was game one. They're the more rested team. They were at home. They were going to come out and win. This is what they do. It's what you see in all playoffs long. You saw it in the Jazz Clippers series. You saw it in the Suns Clippers series. It doesn't mean a lot if you win game one. But there's a lot of concerns to me. I just think the Suns have multiple ways to win. But if you're the Bucs, the, the happy thing is that you shot the same field goal percentage as the Phoenix Suns made the same free, uh, field goals, number of field goals, but you just got outworked at the free throw line. And that's what's going to be uh, the key. Giannis is missing from the free throw line. Suns are the best free throw shooting team in, uh, in the NBA right now. So I think the Suns win in five. Game two will tell me a lot if the Bucks even have a chance in this series. Let's move on. We've got Canadians Lightning tonight. It is game five of the Stanley Cup final. A lot of people expect the Lightning to win tonight. So do I. I think they're the better team. I think Andre Vasilevsky, he's the difference. Canadians got lucky in Game 4. You kind of see this with the kings Ranger series. The team wins Game 4. They're way more desperate. Uh, game 5 at home. Even the mayor of Tampa Bay was like, lose Game 4. We want to close it out in Game 5. I'm not saying you think like that, but I'm saying that was kind of probably in the back of the Lightning's minds, and they still forced it to overtime. So I kind of like the Lightning to win in regulation tonight to secure the Stanley Cup. Let's move to the soccer. England, Denmark. Uh, that is almost done yet. Yeah, that just finished. So England beats Denmark. Italy beats Spain. Both went into extra time. So we got an Italy-England final from Wembley Stadium. 
Sunday afternoon, ESPN should be a great matchup between two of the best teams in the world. Uh, favorite will probably be England. I do like Italy to give them a game. However, I think it goes to extra time. And I'm going to lean towards Italy. I think they've been the best team all tournament long, so I'm going to take Italy over England in a little bit of an upset. Copa America, this is interesting too. We've got Messi, Neymar, Argentina, Brazil. That's Saturday night. Uh, Brazil is presumably the favorite uh, after Argentina squeaked by Colombia last night. Uh, and I'll lean Brazil as well. I think they just have a better supporting cast around Neymar. Uh, and I think that's it for the day. We've got uh, the match last night, which was cool to watch. A little slow for me. Uh, a little feedback from there. I think DeChambeau's hilarious. Rodgers, Brady throwing around the football. Rodgers getting asked questions. Uh, Charles, of course, great. I, I just thought it was a little slow. I, I would have liked them to speed it up just a bit. It, it went to like 9, 9.30. I just got bored by then, and it was over. So, and Brady's not that good of a golfer. Rodgers, pretty good. Uh, and that is all for your sports recap. So one reaction, but leave you the daily one reaction here on July 7th.